Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today we are talking about bathroom trends with timeless appeal. I've been in the interior design industry for almost 17 years now and I would say the number one question I get asked the most when it comes to bathroom design is what finishes can I pick in the bathroom that looks great year after year? And to be honest, everyone has their own perspective on this. But I will tell you that time and time again, there are some finishes, some looks, and some combinations out there when it comes to choosing your vanity, your tile, your backsplash, the shower fixtures that looks timeless, chic, and never gets old. My number one pick from this list and my personal favorite is Zalij Tiles. Now what is Zalij Tile? You might have seen this tile plastered all over Instagram, all over social media, and for very good reason. This glossy Moroccan tile has been around for thousands and thousands of years, but they have gotten a really major resurgence because of social media. Why do people love it so much? It has this very perfectly imperfect type of charm. No two tiles are alike, they're not straight, they have a little bit of a jagged form to it. When you run your hand across it, it's not a completely smooth surface. But visually, it has such striking impact. They're most commonly square, but they also come in longer rectangular subway tiles and smaller hex tiles. You can use the liege tile on everything from a vanity backsplash to a full shower enclosure, you might even want to break up the bathroom into two sections, where on the lower portion, you have a big beautiful slab of natural marble, and you may accent the upper portion with a coordinating zalige. The beauty of zalige tile is that no two tiles are the same. Light catches it and it has this really beautiful iridescent reflection. It can make all black bathrooms seem even brighter, or an all neutral space pop with depth and dimension. No matter how you install the liege, it looks beautiful at every angle. Next, we have naturally veined stone slabs. We're talking about these huge, massive slabs of marble, quartzite, granite, dolomite. What you're essentially looking for is one large slab to install on a shower or an entire wall. The beauty of these natural slabs is in its veining. You want to make sure that you specify a vein, a pattern, and a color that you absolutely love. You're looking to make a statement with this slab, so a little goes such a long way. If full height slabs on an entire wall is not your style, you can also cut these slabs for the countertops or the vanity. High contrast slabs look stunning in a modern space, while tone on tone slabs feel relaxed and calming. Natural slabs have timeless appeal because they've been around for ages. If you're looking to add a matching tile to coordinate with the look, look for something that is really simple and streamlined in color. Not a whole lot of variation, not a whole lot of pattern, and maybe with just enough contrast to pull out the natural colors of the stone. Next, we have raw natural brass. I know what you may be thinking, brass might be a super trendy pick for a bathroom that you want to feel timeless. However, brass has been around forever. What you're looking for is raw, unfinished, unlacquered brass. The great thing about raw brass is that it will patina over time, giving you that age, centuries old look. It feels raw, it feels rustic, and it really does pair perfectly with either a modern aesthetic or even a traditional one.
If you're not into the raw, rustic look, brushed brass is a great alternative. Brushed brass has a matte finish, so you can't see fingerprint marks, you can't see water marks, which is really great for that low maintenance type of design. Stay away from polished brass, which screams old 80s grandma's house. Now I love a grandma chic aesthetic. I mean, I feel like I have a very old soul, which is why I love these like old natural patinas, except that polished brass looks really cheap. It's something that you might find at your local Home Depots or Lowe's and it's like on the clearance section. So definitely stay away from polished brass if you're looking for a bathroom with timeless appeal. Next, we have natural wood grain. Are you seeing a trend here? Anything that is raw, natural, organic has a lot of staying power. When it comes to specifying natural wood finishes, you're essentially looking for these finishes for your cabinets. It might be a really modern cabinet door where the wood grain comes alive. It could be a traditional style door with a bleached oak effect. If you want the wood grain to really pop, Opt for a cabinet face that is devoid of any panels. In this case, you can focus on minimal hardware or none at all to really let the wood grain shine. If you're looking to add a little bit more depth to the natural wood, why not try a fluted facade? If you want to get a little adventurous, you can also try a wood deck. Just keep in mind that vessel sinks are the best to pair with this look, so this wet area doesn't warp the treated wood. While we're on the topic of vanities, the next item on this list is floating vanities. What is a floating vanity? A floating vanity is simply a cabinet and a countertop that doesn't sit on the floor. There's no legs, there's no pedestal, and it looks like it's floating in space. Floating vanities look best when it's anchored between two walls. So if you have a smaller type of space and you want to make it appear larger, floating vanities are the solution to your bathroom design. If storage is not an issue, I love a floating vanity made out of one single slab of natural stone. If you need a little bit more storage, try a pair of vessel sinks, some custom cabinets with a lower floating shelf right underneath. If you love the look of full height cabinets, you can still float them in space so that it's so much easier to clean underneath. If you have an angled wall and a really awkward bathroom space, try a custom floating vanity that is angled to match the lines of the walls. I love this look to show off a beautiful feature wall of artisan tile in the back of the vanity. And I also love this look to show off the graphic tiles on your floor. Graphic tile is next on my list, and this could be anything from floor tile to wall tile to shower tile. Now, what does graphic tile mean? Graphic tile simply means a pattern that is made from the individual tile, or maybe it's an entire pattern that's already laid out for you. This look gets its timeless appeal from a specific color story, or a tone on tone one, or it could simply be contrasting tile that you lay out in a geometric pattern.
Because graphic tile can make such a statement on its own, remember to keep the rest of your finishes simple and clean. When it comes to graphic tile, what you want to look for is geometric shapes. Stay away from wavy patterns, stay away from too many colors in one tile, and absolutely stay away from those large scale tile murals if you're looking for something that's timeless and classic. I love a gorgeous mural in a small bathroom or even a powder room. But what you want to do is stay away from murals that are made of tile because of course if you want to replace it down the line, it's so costly to do so. So if you're looking for a really beautiful graphic statement in a mural type look, offer wallpaper instead. Finally, let's talk about color. The one color that I find has the most longevity in a bathroom, I'll flip through old magazines, new magazines, no matter what the time or era, this color always pops through. Can you guess what that color is? I'm wearing it, it's blue. Blue has such timeless appeal in a bathroom because of how it makes you feel. Depending on the hue and the tone that you use, it always feels fresh and rejuvenating. Perfect for a bathroom space. Light powdery blues echo scenes from the ocean and seashore. This tone is so apropos for a beach property. Somehow this blue on blue on blue bathroom doesn't feel overwhelming at all. I love that the ceiling is painted in blue, it has a really beautiful floral motif from the walls, and finally the blue glazed ceramic tile is a perfect finishing piece along with these ginger jars. This feels like a perfectly composed bathroom with timeless appeal. Blue pattern Spanish tile feels fresh and modern in this minimal space. A little blue goes such a long way, so opt to keep the vanity cabinet and your accessories really minimal so the blue stands out. Deep dark navy looks rich and sophisticated in a contemporary bathroom. If you're looking to line all your walls and your shower with a deep dark blue, think about keeping the rest of the finishes light and bright. That's it for this video. Were there some looks you loved, some looks you hated? Do you agree or disagree with my list? I know that everyone has their personal opinion when it comes to what feels timeless, what feels effortless, chic, and has longevity. So of course, if your budget permits, absolutely do whatever you love. I mean, there's nothing like walking into your favorite spa bathroom and you handpicked every single finish and you absolutely love it. It's like your little escape from all of your day's activities. If you like this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you have any other timeless finishes or looks that you would love to add to this list. Share this video with anyone you know who's undertaking a bathroom makeover and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we roll out every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.